Yo, what's good? Your phone three here back in the day. And today, guys, we are here for the first Forzathon of November. This time, we are going to getting some pretty awesome rewards. I'm actually really excited about our first reward here. But right now, let's go ahead and take a look at the challenges that we got for this week. Starting things off, we have paying your dues, rising in the ranks, complete four laps of Brands Hatch in a modern hot hatch division car to win the 1990 Ferrari number no. one, Scuderia Ferrari 641. After that, we got smoke rings, doing donuts, get a drift score of 8,000 and a single lap of a drift event in any Mazda manufacturer car, followed up by get a drift score of 6,000 points in a single lap of a drift event at Lime Rock to receive the Tuxedo Orange driver gear. Then after that, we have full power, a four-star reckon with, win a race at the Autodrome Nationale Monza in a 1990 Ferrari number no. 1 Scuderia Ferrari 641, which is the car that we went up there. Then we got complete a race where you go at least 174 miles per hour in a Forza P2 division car, followed by complete a race at the Bernie's Alps in an Elite Factory Racers division car to receive 90,000 credits. Then we're going to also complete the November's VIP bonus events for VIPs, where we have to complete a race in the 1969 Camaro Supersport Force Edition, beat a rival in the VIP class and brass in the VIP rivals category, win two races in a modern hot hatch division car, Complete a race where you go at least 150 miles per hour in an open wheel Legends Division car, and complete three wraps at the Nurburg GP circuit to win the 2007 Ford Shelby GT500. Now, it doesn't actually look like, well, we do got one win a race here, and then the other ones are all just complete. So, what I'm thinking we do, go ahead and start off with full power and win a race with the Autodrome Nationale Monza in the car that we actually have to go ahead and win right here. I think I've already got one. Then what we need to do is complete a race in our Ford and do our Rivals event. Then we're going to go ahead and hop online so we should be able to go ahead and get that stuff going. Lola Run says, finally streaming. Lola Run, this is our normal time. You know, just remember we had Daylight Savings Time this week. So I also see Logan Spears here in the chat. Hello, yeah. Logan. How is it going? And Sweden Pro says, I'm normal. I swear. Swearing is bad. It is bad. It is bad. But I swear quite a bit. Uh, and Logan Spears says lol, and Sweden says hey, or Lolaron says hey Sweden. Yeah, so uh, Sweden did come by just before the stream started. Uh, unfortunately, he's not going to be able to make it this time around, uh, so that does kind of suck for him. Uh, but right now, let's go ahead and get into our challenges and win our race in the Ferrari. Let's double check and make sure that I got one, though. Because it is one of those Ferraris that uh, if it's under, like, I think 400 or 500,000 credits, I normally sell them when I get them. From wheel spins because it's actually more profitable it just throws it back in or not wheel spins level up rewards it is actually more profitable overall uh so let's see here let's see do we have this car we've got the number 12s we got those ones i'm a little bit worried that this is one of those ones that uh is usually relatively cheap uh it wasn't this one was it no not that one. Oh god what was it yeah we don't actually have it we don't actually have it so we might have to put off on that one for a little while or just go ahead and buy the car, because, uh, what, what is it again? What is the car? Because I know it, it's got a long-ass name. 1990 Ferrari number no. 1 Scuderia. So let's actually check. I want to check on the auction. I'll see if this thing's going for real cheap. Like, if there's one available right now, we'll go ahead and pick it up. But if there isn't, we're, we're not going to worry about it. We'll just go ahead and buy it from the store. We'll sell it later. Not a big deal. Because we're going to get another one anyway. We're going to get another one anyway. So it was a 1990... So where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's that? Come on, show me the money. Show me the money. Okay, we got to La Ferrari. It's the number one Scuderia. Is this a new car? Because it's not showing up here in the auction house. Okay. Uh, 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 no, it's it. been in the game forever. I thought so. I thought so, but I'm not seeing it available in the auction house. So, oh, there it is. We've got the 1990 number one oh, Scuderia that's... Ferrari. Let's see. Let's see what it's going for. Let's see what it's going for here. Uh, Adam Skelton says, "Best of luck to Sweden." Yep, best of luck. He's going off into his league race. We got one starting in five minutes, but I don't want to worry about it now. So let's just go ahead and pick one of these up. Yeah, it's one of those cars that I normally get, and I just throw it out just, anyway. So let's go ahead and just buy just one really quickly. Brand, Brands Hatch. What? Complete four laps at Brands Hatch. Yeah, we can do that. Four laps at Brands Hatch. But Brands I, I want to do that with you guys. I want to do that with you guys. Oh. All right. How, how many people we got here in the party? And are you guys all going to be able to play on uh, Forza Motorsport 7? Yeah, actually, yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Let's let's do this. 
Let's yeah. do this. <laughs> We're going to go into multiplayer. We'll probably end up getting kicked out anyway. Uh, WR Sweden Pro says, hey, Lolo, thanks. And yeah, I suck at Forza. I know. Sweden, really? Yeah, yeah you don't suck at Forza. Uh, and Logan Spears says, I love you, girl. Well, thank you, Logan. Thank you. Uh... <laughs> All right, so Sweden's going into qualifiers. Good luck, man. Good luck. All right, let's go ahead and invite some people into our session right now. Invite friends. We're going to invite the party to the game. Hopefully, we can go ahead and get all of us in here. Shouldn't be too hard. And we just got to go to Brands Hatch in a uh, modern hot hatch, right? Has to be in a modern hot hatch, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Holy uh, crap, yeah. we actually have 20 people watching our Forza Motorsport 7 Forzathon. That is rare. Nobody ever watches this. So if anybody watching right now wants to go ahead and join us, they can. Go ahead and just send me a message on Xbox Live, and I'll go ahead and add you up uh, into the party and into the live stream. Uh, let's actually go ahead and check. We don't have anybody. We just got somebody who said, just watch your vid on how to... Let, 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 let's give this guy a shout-out right here. He, he just sent me a message. Just watch your vid on how to make easy money. Sub too. Well, thanks, Dragon Gamer. Thanks. And Acid Unicorn as well says hi. <laughs> okay. Okay, so if anybody wants to, who is watching right now, join into the session. Just go ahead and send me a message on Xbox Live or anybody else who is here in the session or in the party. And we'll go ahead and add you up into the game. So right now, let's go ahead and create our private match and head over to Brands Hatch. That is what we need to do. Contacting servers. Hopefully, the servers are actually working today. Because, you know, sometimes they, they do got some problems. They got some problems sometimes. But everything seems to be going right. That is good. That is good. Let's go ahead and set up our race at Brands Hatch. Was there a certain track that we have to do at Brands Hatch? Curious about that. Uh, but we got to do four laps, and we got to do this in a modern hot hatch. We got to do this in modern hot hatch. So let's see here, Mercedes modern hot hatch. There we go. So we're gonna do go ahead and double check the uh, Forzathon, make sure that that is right. We don't gotta go to a certain one. Just Brands Hatch in a modern hot hatch. That sounds good. Okay, and I'm actually going to use the card that I'm already in here. So I'm just going to click go to race. The We're going to use this brand new Honda Civic. Uh, let's see here. Lola Run says, I understand, Logan. Yeah, yeah, I do too, man. I do too. And your local chav says, like my profile pic. I, I can't actually see your profile pic very well. I just see that little tiny circle. I see two people hanging out together. Can't really tell what it is, though. It's, uh, it's real, real tiny, man. Real, real tiny. Although, can I actually do this? Oh, I can do this. I can go to your channel. There we go. Let's see, let's let's see this guy's profile pic. Oh God, they got some serious do mouth going on, man. They've got some serious do mouth going on. So we just gotta wait for everybody to go ahead and pick their cars, and we should be good to go. Should be good to go. So yeah, man, that is. I can't tell if that's do mouth or if that is meth mouth. You know, they they both look pretty similar, man. They both look pretty similar, but that do mouth, man, it, it's a killer. It is a killer. <laughs> oh, for those of you guys who don't know what I'm talking about, there's this thing that at least one of my friends, he calls it Dew Mouth, where essentially people who drink a lot of Mountain Dew end up losing their teeth relatively early on. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen to you. If you use proper dental hygiene, you shouldn't be losing your teeth to Mountain Dew. But uh, I, I, I've heard of some people ending up having this happen. All right, but anyway, though, everybody's ready up. Let's go ahead and start in the race. Let's see if we can have a nice clean race this time. <laughs> no craziness going on. Well, well, Starlight isn't here, so we have a chance. That is true. Okay. Um. In two days, we're getting uh, a car pack and some driver gear. Yes, oh, yes, we are. Cool. We are getting a brand new car pack uh, to celebrate 50th anniversary of Hot Wheels. So there is a brand new car pack coming on out on. Oh no! Really oh, that was a little hit. That was a little hit. But, uh, yes, we are getting a Hot Wheels car pack coming to the game. It is going to be free for all players. However, though, here's my main question with it. Um, we're getting this car pack, but wasn't there another car pack that was promised for the people who have the car pack or the car pass that we still have not yet got? There was, there was another pack, and they said it would be of street legal cars. So, yeah, we, we just haven't got that yet. It's, uh... I'm wondering when that's actually going to come. I'm wondering when that's going to come because, you know, they're still updating Forza Motorsport 7. And I really do appreciate that because, you know, it's, it's, it's not a terrible game. I know at the start of it, a lot of people were really mad about this game and how bad it was. 
And it was. It really, really was bad at the start of this game. But they've done things to overall improve the quality, and I'm pretty happy about that. So, all right. Now we're up here right behind Metal Gauge. Let's see if we can go ahead and pass him. Let's see if we can pass him. He's got that Ford Focus RS. Come on, but I got this Honda Civic Type R. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, boy. No, oh, he's off the track. He's off the track. That's our opportunity. Let's go. <laughs> just had to give him a little bit of a... Uh, we just had to go ahead and give him a little bit of pressure there. <laughs> he finally backed off. Oh, man. I cracked like a raw egg. You cracked like a raw egg. Come on, can we pass Metal Gauge? Yes, come on. And then, boom, there he goes. <laughs> God, imagine if they do that in, like, Force RC. Like, they're sitting there talking, like, Hey, Box, I'm right on your tail. I'm going to I'm gonna pass. You just add that pressure to them as they're driving. Because, like, you know, they're, like, super concentrated <laughs> on the race. But what if, like, there's just one asshole there the whole time who's just like, Oh, I'm right on your tail. I'm going to get you just to get them to, like, crack I wonder if that yeah, happens someone just went off the track. I I went off the track just a little bit there didn't really affect me too much though this is where I want the crew 2 physics for unlimited drafting <laughs> crew 2 physics for unlimited drafting is that a thing in the crew 2 unlimited drafting yeah literally Literally, um, I can't remember who it was with. I was with someone called President Ken, or I think that was his name, don't ask. But um, he was on the freeway going round corners, and I was still getting drafting bonuses. What? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that game is yes, so broken. Drafting, that drafting game is so broken. Like, it had so much potential. Like, if they would have made the crew, too, like, had better physics, I feel like if given them another couple of years of development... The Crew 2 could have been a fantastic game, but they rushed it. They rushed it, man. I, I'm so mad about that. Like, it could have been so good. And then they started adding DLC and all kinds of things like that to it, and it just didn't work out. Like, I, I have not been... I've been back to the Crew 2 once, and that was only because they added a new car to the game. And I just got on to kind of cover the car. Like, hey, look at here. We got the TVR Griffith, and that was just a couple days ago. They added in another car, though. They added in the Nissan GTR R34. But that's already a car that was yeah, in the game. Drift. So they just made a yeah, drift, drift spec version, version of it. Oh, man. I'm almost... Oh, damn it. I'm off the track. Off the track. Come on. Oh, no. Metal Gage is past us again. Come on. Let's, let's get in front of him. Ah! <laughs> that was the inside. Shut the door. Oh no, no, no! You're not. You're not gonna do that to me. You are not going to do that to me. <laughs> We're gonna catch you. We're gonna catch you. You're gonna make a mistake. You're all over me like a bad rat. Mmm. Think about all this poison ivy right here. Oh yeah. Look at this. He is defending that spot. He is just defending this spot. Breaking too much, man. Breaking too much. I'm not trying to hit you. This, this Ford is heavy. You have no idea how heavy. Oh, I have an idea on how heavy that thing is. It, it probably weighs about the same as a, as a Chevy Bel Air. Not far off, actually. I, I know I'm not far off. That's if I don't blow a head gasket. That is true, yes. You, 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 uh, at least with the Chevy Bel Air, you don't have to worry about blowing head gaskets. That's true. You just have to worry if it's going to kill you like Christine. Yeah. All right, we got one I more lap. How cool would that be to have? How cool would Christine be to have as a car? Oh, yeah, that'd be, that would be dope, man. That would be dope. A self-repairing car that loves you. Oh, ow! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Well, I'm on the beach. Third. Fourth. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it. 
I did not mean to do it. That was not intentional. It's okay. I've always wanted to go to the beach and play in the sand. Beach, beach. Let's just go away. Oh, what was I watching today about the beach? Oh, yes. Uh, they were talking about Florida and all the blue-green algae and red algae that's been going on and how it's just killing a bunch of fish. And then the other thing that they were talking about oh, is um, they were talking a little bit about Florida, man. Like, it was an episode of The Daily Show that was basically just all about Florida. You know, they talked about Florida, man. They talked about blue-green algae and red tides. Uh, they also talked about the invasive lionfish that's on the uh, Florida coral reefs and how they were solving to fix it. And apparently one dude, he just made a gun that shoots underwater so he could shoot these things. <laughs> Welcome to the land of the free. I'll get a gun. They're not going to move on my fish's catch, so I'm going to shoot them underwater. <laughs> Apologies to any Americans watching. Hey. All right, I'll tell you that offensively. That ain't that offends me. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, great. That's two, that's two people who spun me out this race. Oh, did you just get spun out again? Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, BRD Stinger like says, can I get a game invite after you're done? Yes, just send me a message, oh, and I will go ahead and send you an invite oh, to the game. Uh, WRT Sweden Pro says, thanks to the only one getting, <laughs> thanks to only getting one clean lap and losing slot of tens, I'll probably be in B lobby. Oh man, dude, I'm sorry. You have to dirty your first lap and I, I did go. it too late, making me get my second lap dirty. Oh, that sucks, man. That sucks. Um, Jason yeah, says, I most gaming companies are focusing right, on quantity over quality nowadays. Kind of true. Kind of true. But right now, let's see. Did somebody send me a message? Uh, yeah, Stinger says, "Nice work. Keep up the, keep up the good work." So he sent me a message. Let's go ahead and send him a party invite as well as a game invite. Because I think he said he wanted to go ahead and get in here, so he is now invited to the game. Let's just go ahead and get this all settled back up here. Lola Run still wearing Christmas gear and metal gauge. Is that the new driver gear that we win today? It is, but can I just make an uh, old reference which older people understand? Okay. Don't you think I look like Jim Carrey from the first Dumb and Dumber film? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, that's... That is true. Okay. Alright, so let's see here. We also got in here now... Oh, Sweden Pro is back in here. Okay. So our next race, though. Look at oh, my drive. Look at my driver gear again. Driver gear this time. Look at your driver gear this time. Oh, now you're. Oh God. You want to go play Minecraft? Want to play Minecraft? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next up, what we're going to be doing is we're going to have some drift events. Uh, our next one is going to be get a drift score of 8,000 in a single lap of a drift event in any Mazda manufacturer car. And I figure, why not, uh, let, let's take this over here to Mazda Laguna Seca and make it so that we're all in Mazdas. I think that sounds fun, right? Well, look, I really want to use my Alpha that I made this morning. I really want to use my Alpha Romeo that I made this morning. We got another, we got, there's well, another uh, drift challenge for us to do here in a little bit. So we will, we'll, we'll test it out then. Overrides, any, uh, but let's see here. We're going to make this car restrictions. Ah, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to send any car restrictions. You can use whatever car you want to, uh, but it's just going to be drift. I'm going to use your car. <laughs> You're going to use my car? Is that the Mazda RX-7 drift yes. car? Because I know that's the one that Sweden Pro yes. uses. The one I used, yeah. Yeah, the little drift kitten. Is that what I called it? Did I call it drift? Did I call the tune drift kitten? Yeah. I don't know. Oh my god, I can't believe I called it Drift Kitten. Who's watching the stream right now? Because I, I can hear it in the background. <laughs> oh, there's Mazda. There we go. Where is the RX-7? 
Where's my RX-7 at? Ah, there it is. 1997 Mazda RX-7 with some sort of anime design. I, I, I need to go ahead and look at my tunes here for a second. Well, let's take a look at the tunes that I've got uh, for this thing. Because so. I've got Drift Beast and I've got Drift Kitten. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I, I have the, yeah, I have the Drift Kitten. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load Drift Beast on here. No, use, use the one I use, the Drift Kitten. Should Alright, guys. Should I use Drift Kitten or should I use Drift Beast? We've got one for Drift Crap, Kitten. We have credits. Kitten. All right, we're, we're, we'll, we'll so use Drift Kitten. We're gonna use Drift Kitten. Yeah, both. Uh, well, because Drift Beast, <laughs> these two tunes, Drift Beast is made so that it, it's got a little bit more camber, so it's easier to slide. Drift Kitten is uh, as a little bit more of a starter drift car. So now we just gotta uh -huh. wait for everybody to go ahead and get ready and select their cars. Uh, and we'll go ahead and get this thing started. I just have to get this. Someone's using a Dodge Demon. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, we're gonna die. So let's just go ahead and get everybody set up, ready to go, and we will get this race started. So, Metal Gauge, of course, is in the RX-7. Sweet and Pro's in the RX-7. Swim Allen's in the RX-7. Uh, Stinger's in the Dodge Demon. And now we're just waiting on... Lola run and everybody's got to ready up. Is there a class restriction? No, there isn't a class restriction. You can use whatever car you want to use. No, like D or like D C R. We're all in S. I can't find it. We're all in S class. It's not here. You got it. It has to be rear wheel drive. Yeah. It is. Oh yeah. Stop cheating. You know which road I put it all wheel drive? I then I realized I made the differential go all the way to, to just to the back wheels. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh I, missed, I missed the Fuji Here. road from. It's F now said to anything. You can choose whatever you want. Oh, okay. Yeah, go now before I have to get to my race. We should be sure. Yeah, hurry up. Hurry up. You got you got 15 seconds. Hurry up or you get banned. <laughs> I got the power. I can abuse the power. I had the power. Hi ho! Off the gun. Jason says I'm on Forza Horizon 3, giving it life. Barely any life is in that game now. Now that Forza Horizon 4 is open. Oh god, this is gonna be cute. I'm fucking in the back. <laughs> oh, that. Oh. You twerk my ass, Mazda. <laughs> I like how I crashed right there on the before we even hit a corner. I crashed. Oh, was that you doing the massive spin out? Yeah, that was me. Oh. Sweden, was that you who came within inches of me? Yeah. I'm gonna go. Back. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm off track. No! Oh my god, this thing uh, for Mazda Laguna Sega, it does. Oh man. Getting my uh, tires back to the normal is. It's a pain in the ass on this car. Oh my gosh. No! I spun out. Back up, back up, go. Don't worry, I'm not doing so hot either, Sweden. I'm not doing so hot either. I'm in the dirt! I'm gonna have to beat the few times. <laughs> As I said, I'm probably still in the lead. I'll, I think. I think Lola run, she's in Christina's feet. 
the three is cut off and then it's really loose and things and it's in a rear wheel drive alpha so it's an all-wheel drive alpha and i bet you yeah, yeah he is probably it. using friction assist yeah but he said he set it to the rear well that's just uh that's, that's just your percentage of torque it, it's still sending a little bit of torque to the front oh, wheels <laughs> Having problems, Sweden. Ah, uh, the Alpha is trying to kill me. And for once, you can't say it's me, because I'm just happily at the back, avoiding no, all I the carnage. No, I saw you hit me. You, you used your power to make Alpha go and hit me. So I mean, uh, technically, it's still your fault. I mean, it's alright. I'm not me. Emperor Palpatine. I can't use the force. <laughs> 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 Join the dark side and Alpha. you will have all the power! Alpha, go and hit Sweden! You will do what must be done! Ah, oh, there goes good! <laughs> yep, I'm gone. <laughs> I was just like, he's not slowing down! Wow! I've never actually drifted here at Mazda Laguna Seca. I just thought since we got to use Mazdas, why not? Why not Laguna Seca? <laughs> oh no! no, no. Oh, the stupid tire wall caught me. Oh, the second thing had me water on the you was on the spray. How did you manage to get your tire wall? <laughs> I was snaking, and my front bumper caught it like an STI. Uh -oh. <laughs> Be careful when drifting, kids. Always make sure you use the seatbelt. Typically, so when you're drifting, you, you don't want to just use a regular seatbelt. You want to use a five-point racing harness. Yeah, but at least the seatbelt makes it easier for the police to find your body when you crash and die. Wait, what? why is the Dodge <laughs> Demon second? Because it's a Dodge um. Demon. Tandem! No! Oh, how many points did you just lose? I lost seven grand. Oh, that's Ouch. Let's I'm see if I can actually get one decent lap in. There's enough time for one more lap. Can I get in a decent lap of 40,000 XP or more? Oh, no. I'm going to go really slowly. Nice lap point. Why are you going off? I don't even because know how I... you can go off. Wait, you have you only completed the corner. How did you manage to do it off? Yeah, this uh, this is a very technical track for drifting. That's all I can say, man. <laughs> what did you have to the lead? No way. That what? Would put me in fourth. I had a seven. I had seven grand, and it would have put me in fourth. But no, I just had to go off the track, just barely. I mean, almost gonna catch me off. Maybe in the, in the thing, it won't catch me off. I don't think. Yeah, that happens. That's been happening to me this whole race. Oh, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> and I'm holding my 10 grand. I'm holding mine. You want me to get back there and uh, give you a little friendly bump? If you bump me, I swear to God. Alright, there we go. That's a good lap right there. 45,000. That's what I needed. That is what I needed right there. Come on. I need Sweden to mess up so I can take a second spot. Huh? If you mess up, 
It only lost 10 grand, so, I mean, that's not my first thing, though. Oh, this is, this is close. This is a close race here. Oh my gosh. 32 seconds left. Oh no, Sweden just banked three grand. Come on. This is a race now, Sweden. This is close. Yes! Just barely. Oh, no. oh my god, I just barely pulled it off, man. <laughs> oh my god. Sweden, that was close, man. That was close. Yeah. Oh, but I'm corrupting you with drifting. Wait, no! No, you got second! It showed me a second! No, what? No! Oh, <laughs> oh that's that's bull. <laughs> Either way, it was a close good race. It was a close good one. Alright, so anyway, though, let's go ahead and move on into our next challenge, which I believe is... We gotta do more drifting. Just where at? Ooh! I have to go now. Alright, you gotta I'm go? go Alright. I'm sure you'll be Good back, luck, though, in yeah. a little bit. <laughs> Good luck, yeah. All right, best of luck, man. Good luck on your race. Yeah, bye. Best of luck, Sweden. All right, so our next one is we got to get a 6,000 in a single lap of a drift event at Lime Rock. So we're now we're going to go ahead and move on over to Lime Rock. Same, same standard, same everything. All right, so let's see here. Lime Rock. This I, way. I know on one of them you have to do a drift event in a Kia Stinger. In a Kia what? Stinger. Hold on, hold on a second. Yeah, I can't remember which one though. Hmm. Eighteen. Great. I'm looking. I'm looking here. Oh yes, that is November Car Pass. That'll be next week's challenge. <laughs> Or we got to drift 6,000 points in a Kia Stinger. Uh, yeah, just 6,000 points total in one lap. So let's oh, see here. Nice. This one, we're going here to... Um, we're at Lime Rock, so we should be able to get this one done pretty quickly. Uh, just got to wait on everybody to go ahead and choose their new cars. So Lola Run is using his Kia Stinger. Although, actually, let's see here. Do I have a I Kia do. Stinger set up for drift? I don't think I do. We'll, we'll, we'll worry about that next week. week. We'll worry about that next week. I'm just going to put some... I'm just going to put some power into it. Now, Stinger 643, Stinger he should like... have he should have a Stinger drift car. That's what he needs. He needs a Stinger drift car. So... Alright, just got to okay. wait on everybody to go ahead and get rated up. Now, should I change from my Mazda into something else, or should I just stay in the Drift Kitten? Stay a little kitten. Stay a little kitten? All right, we'll, we'll stay in the Drift Kitten. It's not oh, going to be a cat. Let's see if anybody else has sent me a message to join. Uh, we did get one from Stinger, but we he's already in here. So, uh, let's see. I also got two notifications here on YouTube. Let's see here. Somebody was saying they were using my, uh, the go up and down the, oh, what's it called? Go up and down the highway money-making method. They won, uh, Auto Union Type D and sold it on the auction house for five and a half million credits. Not bad, man. Not bad. Alrighty. So that, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope, man. Congratulations to him. Now we're just waiting for Stinger to go ahead and get readied up and we should be good to go. So let's hear. Did Singer actually end up joining the party or no? He did. No, he didn't join. Oh, yeah, he did join the party. There he is. 
All right, so we're going to go now. Let's go ahead and get this race started. I think of the Hyundai Veloster Turbo. Every time you think of the Kia Stinger, you think of the Hyundai Veloster? Yes. The one that has three doors, not including the back one. Yeah. I always used to think the Veloster was called the Velocitor. And then I realized, wait, it's just Veloster. Uh, Stinger just said his mic is broke. Gotcha, gotcha. No worries, man, no worries. Oh, first quarter, I lost all my points. No. Is it just me, or have they changed the smoke a little bit in this game? They did when uh when they upgraded the uh, drift suspension. They actually made the smoke a little bit more intense. Now that players essentially were going to see a lot more of it, they decided to add a little bit more detail to the smoke. And increase the actual overall volume of smoke produced. That's good. The one track, or should I say real road circuit, that I really miss is uh, from... Motorsport for oh bad guys. <laughs> it's from a uh, Motorsport for the Fuji track. Fuji Mikado. Yeah, that was amazing for drift. Oh, well, I just lost fifteen thousand. This does not have enough power for how much it weighs. Oh, your Kia Stinger doesn't have enough power. The Kia Stinger's a big boy. I'm a big boy now. <laughs> wasn't that like the? Wasn't that a phrase for like a a, a pair of pull-ups, diapers, or whatever? I think so. I'm a big kid now. Oh, I'm a big kid I think now. Just a little love tap. Just a little love tap. We were, we were getting close there. We were getting pretty close. We weren't quite tandeming. It was more, I was just <laughs> trying to do the best I could. No. <laughs> we were just drifting along there, and then, yeah. My back tire let go. Mm-hmm. Get good, son. Get good. That's all I can I say, I guess. Oh man, I just made an awesome pass there. That was that was freaking amazing. That was an awesome pass there. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I'm 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 thoroughly impressed with myself on that. I didn't crash. He didn't crash. It was that 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 was actually really impressive. I give you credit. That was an incredible time. I think they call that a show-off skill in Horizon. Uh yeah, where you drift and overtake. And I just got overtake by the stinger.
It's all right. I do. Oh, you just crashed into somebody? Yeah. So oh, no. Skyline went a little bit too much on the oversteer, and uh, I couldn't help but drift into him. Who'd you hit? That's the question now. Did you hit the GTR or the Kia Stinger? Yeah. The GTR. Come on, it's so close. It's such a tight race between me and Stinger. We're, we're differencing by about 2,000 points. Oh my god. Granted, he could have a lot banked up. And that could just, that would take it down so much farther. Speaking of Stinger, there he is right behind me. Come on, don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up. Oh, damn it, I lost my points. No. How many did you lose? Almost nine gay. Ow. Yeah. Oh, there we go. 21 seconds left. I'm just grateful now that you don't lose all your points as soon as one tire goes off the track like yes. before. Yes. That, that's very that's a very nice feature. First place! Woo! Woo! That was close! Oh man! I was afraid I was gonna lose that. We noticed you've been racing this design for a few times. Would you like to like this design? Yes, I will always like the design. And we have completed smoke rings. Not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, so anyway though, let's go ahead and move on to the next challenge, which I think is actually um hmm, what is it? What is it really quickly? Uh, I need to remember what it is. <laughs> oh, man. We're getting close to that Hennessy Venom. What is our next challenge? So, our next one is going to be... Hennessy Venom. Yeah, that's that's uh, 750,000. It's my next level up reward. So, let's see here. Our next one is going to be... Complete a race in the 1969 Camaro Supersport Forza Edition. So, let me go ahead... What is that car? What class is that car? Wait, what did you say? It's the 1969 what Chevrolet you? Camaro 4's edition. We have to complete a race in it. That would be historic road racing. Yep, that's what it is. Uh, St Stinger, Stinger said he has to go, but Our he says thank you for having... In him, him in the party. No problem. Anytime, Stinger. Glad to have you here. See you around next time if you gotta go. It was a blast. See you, man. Alright, so anyway, though, now we are going to go to Custom Circuit Racing. We are going to go... Uh, Let's go to Long Beach. 
Let's go to Long Beach. It's right here. And Historic Road Racing. Hmm. My, I know my car has a design on it, but it's not showing up. That's weird. Oh, it's it's got me in a rental all of a sudden. Why why is it why am I in a rental? Let me actually pick my car. Let me let me actually pick my actual car. Oh! My actual car is 776. Reset to default Red homologation. Door. And let's see if we can find a tune for this bad boy real quickly. I think I might actually have a tune for this one. Let's see if I do. I have got Daytona Circuit. No, I, I don't actually have a tune. So let's see if we can actually get ourselves a halfway decent tune really quickly. We got Oval Beast. Okay in class. <laughs> Speedy Artist. We got one from Race Boy. Let, let's, let's use Race Boys. His are usually pretty reliable. 3,500 credits. Not bad. Not bad. We actually had almost all the parts available for it. Do not like the wheels he chose, though. I do not like the wheels that he chose. Alrighty. Three laps of Long Beach. You just got to complete this. And then I'm going to have to hop on offline, guys. So, well, if we can actually... No, we'll, we'll try the race. We'll try the race in the Ferrari. We'll try it. See if I can't pull off a victory. But I'm not... I'm going to tell you guys right now. Don't let me win. Do not let me win. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. Good. It's your parties. Who actually lets you win? Very true. Very true. <laughs> so now <laughs> let's. <laughs> yeah. Even Horizon 4 doesn't let you win with infections because it always makes you first hit. That is also very true. Oh, yeah. I remember. Uh... Uh, in Horizon 3, I'd always try to get Gur first. Alright, let's see if this Force Edition can do halfway decent. Come on, man. <laughs> Did all of us just crash into that wall? <laughs> yes. yes. This tune maybe won't oh, be very American good. Break. I just oh saw Lola God, run. <laughs> yeah. This is not a great tune. Nor is mine. Whose tune do you have? <laughs> Uh, a load of n numbers and letters. It didn't spell out anything. It, it just looked like a dyslexic nightmare. Oh, God. Being defensive. <laughs> oh. My bad. Is that really what? <laughs> okay. Okay. I didn't do it on purpose. I swear to God. Well, I swear to Cthulhu, it's about to get real. If I can catch up. <laughs> I swear to Allah if I don't win. I swear that was not on purpose. You just did you just braked early. And see look, look, you're back in you're back in second. Oh, And there you go. Ah! No! No! That's a wall! Apologies. 
Oh, now it's on! <laughs> You've hit me five times! I need a little hit counter, like one, two, three. Don't worry, I just hit another tire wall. Oh man, this is not going very good. Is that the little puff of smoke I saw in the background? Probably. All right, we're coming up here to the final lap. Think now it's time to get serious. <laughs> that sounds like a hilarious. That sounds like a hilarious video for either motorsport or Horizon. Race with the worst rated tunes. Come on, there we go. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Go speed, go. Go speed, racer, go. <laughs> First place is only half a mile ahead of me. You know, it, uh, I, there's a chance to win. There's still a chance to win. At least it's not a full mile. The, the biggest error I've ever gotten in uh, Horizon 4 is um, a little over a mile. Of air time. How? Uh, so basically, I was on the beach, uh, in my uh, Nismo Sentra. That's S S two nine ten. I hit this bump going two hundred and ten miles per hour. It wasn't really a bump, was it? You mean a little dune? Yes, a dune. Come on! <laughs> oh god, Lolo! Why? Why have you forsaken me? <laughs> did he just... Did he just put you into a wall? Kind of. <laughs> he tried to cut the corner, and I had the corner, like, taken properly, and he just... <laughs> Oh man, it just ended up in us both spinning around, and then he tried to drive backwards the rest of the way. <laughs> oh the my! Can finish this. Are you still driving backwards? <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> Oh, maybe I can't. Ten, nine. I'm hoping I'm you don't. Claim Seven, a moral victory eight. and say fastest lap. I did it. You actually, you you did complete yeah. it. Oh man. Damn it. <laughs> After this, could you play some Forza Horizon Four with me? I I I just got the game last week. Well, we're gonna be on. We're we're probably gonna be playing Forza Horizon 4 after this anyway. Uh, Red Potato Cars oh. is high. Forza Horizon 4 was or Forza Horizon 1 was the best one. Yes, it was. It really, really was. I didn't. I do enjoy <laughs> Forza Horizon 1. Uh, so next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that Ferrari. So our next challenge is we gotta win Horizon a race in the Ferrari. The where, where where's it at? It's for like ninety thousand credits. It should be like right here, right? So let's see here. Okay. Win a dr win a race at the Autodrome Nationale Monza in the 1990s. So we got to go to the Autodrome Nationale Monza, and we got to do the Ferrari. So let's see here. I'll tell you something. If the release, if Playground actually released a remastered 4K version of Horizon One, that would be the perfect game. With all the, uh, like, cars from the old game, too? Yeah. Oh, wait, I still need to go collect the car, <laughs> don't I? Yeah, I, I still gotta go oh, get like... the car first. Uh, you set it to the wrong class. Yeah, I also saw that. Yeah, I set it to the wrong class. So, I, I'm, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and leave, and I'm gonna hop in and do just do that race and do the uh, Rivals events, so, like, since I gotta leave anyway to go get the car. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and win that race okay. and uh, do the Rivals event. And then everything else after that we can probably do online. So we'll go ahead and do that really quickly. And then we should probably be done. Just about done. Okay, dokie. So let's see here. We need to go over here and collect our car really quickly. And then the one that we got to do, the Rivals event, is Class and Brass. Okay. So let's go ahead and just knock that one out of the way. Because that one shouldn't take too long. That should just be one lap here. VIP, Class and Brass. We're going to go ahead and load this up. Caddy CTSV 11. Okay, not bad, not bad. Auto drum. Which one's that? They're all with auto drum. That. What oh, do you think is the worst? Forza Horizon, though? Forza Horizon 2 was the worst. By far, I hated Forza Horizon 2. I could not stand it. I know there's Actually, a lot of people that... If you think Horizon 2 on the Xbox One was the worst, oh, you should have played Horizon 2 on the Xbox 360. The 360 version was absolute garbage. Unlimited credits! Except... Yeah, that's the only upside. My friend got me 999 million credits because he fast traveled and I didn't know about... Like, I had a sleep with my friends and he got me 999 credits because, um, he did a fast travel. <laughs> Now I have like, uh really I have max credits in Forza Motorsport 3 and I had max credits in Forza Horizon 3. So in in the games that start with 3 I've had maximum amount of credits. Wait. Wait. Circuit decoder. Ah. That's Monza. Why can't I find this? Wow. I am not right, am I? Probably not. I, I, just from knowing you, I would say you're probably not right. There's, there's, there's something going on in your head, man. No, as we on right, like I, I had my cursor right above. The oh, oh, you're not talking about you. You're talking about uh, you're talking about the the game. Oh, right. gotcha. I had it right above there. It said, it didn't say Circuit de Catalunya. It said something different. Why is it drift? Why is this a drift event? Okay, I guess there's gonna be no driver tours. There we go. That's not a bad corner. That wasn't bad. We got through there nice and smoothly. I will say, though, that this caddy, uh, it, it wants to drift a little bit. It wants to drift a little bit, as you guys can tell right there. But, hey, we beat our rival. We beat our rival. Let's just try and set a clean lap, though. That's what I want. I just want one clean lap. Oh, hey, looky here. Our next rival is Metal Gauge. Please be nice. I'm not going to be very nice. Ouch. Because you said a 149 uh, dirty lap. I'm already three seconds ahead of you as a clean lap. Rubbing the salt anymore. Oh, yeah, just I'm just gonna keep on rubbing in the salt. Just rubbing in the salt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what my final time is. Stop rubbing the salt on his exposed nerve endings. Oh, that would oh, really, no, past the nerve. that would really hurt. He's gone past the nerve endings. Four point one seconds ahead of your time now.
Come on, keep it clean, keep it clean. Oh, damn it, no. I just, oh, I got it dirty. Crashed into a wall. So that means we got to do one more lap. Unless it's not going to give us the clean. It may not give us the clean from the start of here. I might have dirtied it too late. I dirtied it too late. Oh, well, I still beat your time by 1.5 seconds. Or no, I beat Ow. my time by 1.5 seconds. I didn't beat yours. I was right at your time before I crashed. Oh. So I was four seconds ahead of my time. Oh. You know what I do need, though, for this car? This thing does need stability control. Forza Motorsport 2 was the best Forza game. I beg to differ. Forza Motorsport 4 is my favorite Forza game ever. Yeah. I agree. Number 4 brought in loads of great tracks, beautiful physics. And, well, before every car manufacturer decided either I get a piece of the pie or I'm not going to give you my content. Oh, that's why there's that Devon car. And plus, there's loads of great manufacturers in that game that are, have never reappeared. Like, for example, there's that Joss uh, S S1, I think. Oh, I called. love the Joss. That car was amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. Then there's the Grip Beast, that is the Gumpet Apollo. Well, that was in Horizon 1. Yeah, but for a motorsport game. Does anybody have their Xbox 360 still with for a copy of Ford as a Motorsport 4? I do. I do. I do, and I'm putting it in my Xbox 360. Oh, so you're going to play Forza Motorsport 4 and Forza Motorsport 7 just on different consoles? Oh, no. Um, the reason it said uh, I was still play playing Forza Motorsport 7 when I was play playing Forza Motorsport 2 is because I didn't close out the app. So now if I go there, it should just say, um, oh, no, yeah, I forgot my HDMI cord. There we go. Does anyone remember the second disc of Motorsport 4? Oh yeah, because uh, they weren't they had so disc. many cars. It was a regular. I wish I got the DLC. Honestly, I wish I did, but I didn't. I don't think I did. Profile, but... I don't think I did back then. There may have been a couple that I had gotten, but I don't think I got them all. I didn't get any. I didn't have a, a live profile then, but mm. I do now. And that's why I've had my game reset like four times. Because I keep forgetting which, like, which USB stick I put in my game storage on. Like my game saves. All right, Metal Gage, remember your time. It's a 149.890. Yeah. And I'm about to get... Oh, I beat you because I got a clean lap. But I got a 150.170. Oh. So close, man. So close. Um, Let's see oh. here. Red Potato says, I played one hour, then never tried it again. Best Forza, though. Same. So, all right. Yeah, man. Dude, all right. All right. So, now what we got to do really quickly is we got to go ahead and just do our race with the Ferrari. And then we'll be hopping right back online. 
So Red Potato Cars, if you want to actually join in, just go ahead and send me a message, and I will go ahead and invite you when we get everything set up and ready to go again. All right. So we're going to return to the I main really menu here. I get a co copy of the original Forza game. Like, the very first. I really want to get a copy of that. Because you can play that on the 360. Mm. What I, what I loved about Motorsport 4 is that if you got the deluxe version, you got, like, all the extras, but you got that beautiful art book with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess they don't do that now, do they? They still do. They gave you a car. They still do. All right, so they now... Give, they give you a die-cast car. What we need to do is we need Pretty to win a race at Autodrome Nationale Monza in the Ferrari. So let's see here. Replay. Do you want to know something kind of depressing? What? I had gold at this at the time, but I bought a uh, Forza Horizon one for twenty bucks two weeks before it went up with gold. Ouch. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that hurts. I've been debating what to do with my actual copy of Forza Horizon 2, since now I have it on Xbox Live anyway. I've been debating about whether or not to like take it to GameStop and trade it in, or should I like put it up on eBay and <laughs> see who would want it? Probably could get more money. <laughs> Probably get four times the value. Or just give it away. I, I, could, I could just give it away, ship it to somebody, and I'll sign it. I don't know, give that might be it. Yeah, sign it. Mm-hmm. Gur four one three's actual copy of Forza Horizon two. <laughs> Xbox One. And I'll tell I you guys how I actually got Forza one. Horizon two. I was debating between Forza Motorsport five or Forza Horizon two. I didn't know which one I wanted to get. Um, because I had just bought an Xbox One and I knew I wanted a Forza game, but I didn't know which one I wanted. I spent two hours standing around in Best Buy debating it. <laughs> like looking at both games in my hand trying to figure out which one I actually wanted so this car well, is a fairness, formula 90s all right in fairness, you actually chose in fairness you actually chose the right one because yes horizon 2 was a bit of a disappointment compared to number one but motorsport 5 compared to motorsport 4 it was like night and day. Yeah, yeah, it was, man. It really, really was. Better. All right, so I've got it set up for three laps of Autodrome Nationale Monza. I've got the Ferrari, and we should be good to go. Although, let's actually take a look at tunes. Let's see if there's actually a decent That's tune out there available. So we got a tune from Scooby oh, yeah, Jenkins. Yeah. Oh yeah, Gur, have you heard how Ferrari's being petty again? Uh, no. February 26th. You know the Aventador J? Yep. Sorry, not the Aventador J, the SVJ. Mm-hmm. Well, now they have brought out the FXXK Evolution, a supposed what? world legal version of the FXXK. But the um, word evolution means it it sounds better and faster. Alright, let's see here. Drive on the, road. the only thing they've done different is they've just stuck a tiny little Honda Civic wing on the back. Yeah, it boosts 23% more downforce over the regular FXXK and 75% uh, more downforce than the LaFerrari. Well, that is if Ferrari actually ship the car to a mm -hmm. racetrack when they feel like it. Ferrari, I think, is the only company outside of just pure race is where you buy a car and they don't give it to you. Holy crap, I didn't realize it had a thousand horsepower, though. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it. It feels like it's like 700, 800, not a thousand. I mean, it feels like it's fast. It's quick. But it doesn't feel that fast. Wait, wasn't there something about, like, how one guy wanted to paint his, like, wrap his Ferrari in pink? And Ferrari wouldn't let him? Um... Yeah, they actually took his car away. 
it wasn't pink. I think, um... What it was is, um... Oh, God. Dead Mouse? Is that, is that the artist's name? Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he did an, he did the, uh... I think they called it, like, the Perari 458 or something like that, and he did a, uh... He did a Nyan Cat, uh, design on it. And Ferrari was actually really upset about it and told him to take it off. That's what I don't get, though. Ferrari. Can they even do that? Oh, yeah. I've seen them do it. Um, I did an internship with them in one of their warehouses for about a month. And this guy came in. He just had a matte black rat. That's it. Not only did the garage where it was charge him five grand for the removal of it, but then they charged him seven grand for damage to the paintwork, and then an extra two grand for the extended time that it took for them to take it off. Okay, that's what I don't get. What if I think there's some it? laws in the United States that protect the consumer that aren't over in Europe. Because I know recently they added a law that, for example, um, if you own, like, an Xbox One console and you want to jailbreak it, you are perfectly legal. You're allowed to do it. That's the thing. At we don't have risk. those laws yet. So, and they've also done the same with some software now, where essentially, you know, if there was a software issue and you installed a certain, and you knew how to fix it. So you essentially had to go into the program and hack it to fix the issue, then video games could have actually, like, you know, essentially sued you, saying that you hacked into their game and you accessed, like, their files, and that's against the law. Well, the federal government, I guess, recently said that, hey, no, if they want to, they can go in there and they can change it to fix it. You can't stop them from doing that. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something. Like, um, so, my friend... He plays a lot of Fortnite. I know he's kind of a disappointment to his parents, but um, he changed like basically all the skins he had to the Skull Trooper. I was like, that's useless because it doesn't show up on anybody else's screen. So I was like, what's the point? What? Why? Why would video. even somebody do that? That's my question. I know. Oh my lord. I've just checked my emails. Mm -hmm. And I've got one from Microsoft saying, would I be interested in their new uh, drive for the Xbox? I've just clicked on it. It's an SSD drive, finally. A four terabyte SSD will set you back one thousand one hundred pounds. Okay, so I'm gonna say that's about one thousand three hundred dollars US. US. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, SSDs are expensive. Remember, remember the Russian Q1 from Forza Motorsport 4? I mean, you can get a four terabyte Russian? regular hard drive. For like eighty bucks nowadays. Exactly. For M Motorsport Seven, you really need a SSD to do anything fast. Like in Horizon Three and Horizon Four, like the upgrading it was quick because all the upgrades were applied at the end of your upgrade spree. But in Forza Motorsport Seven, it would actually be better if you had an SSD. It's every upgrade, it's like loading. Oh yeah, here you go. Yeah, yeah. So there we go. I, I just absolutely destroyed that race really quickly. Did not take very long. Foxboy51 says, hi. Hi, Foxboy. How's it going? So that was actually a pretty damn quick Why race. Uh, we did our best lap in a minute and a half. Not bad. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was only Wait. driving though on expert difficulty. If that. So we're going to just go ahead and quit out of here now. 
and now we're going to hop back online. So if anybody wants to go ahead and join into the race, go ahead and send me a message on Xbox Live. Gamertag is GUR413, same as the channel name. So you guys should be able to go ahead and do that up. Just send me a message that says invite. I'll go ahead and send you one. All right, but now we're about ready to go hop online and finish up today's racing. Gur. <clears throat> and I just bought a Hennessy Venom. You know uh, Mopar? Yep. Oh yeah, Mopar. They are now selling a tuned version of the Hellcat engine as a crate engine. And standard what? it's producing a thousand <coughs> horsepower. What? Um... A standard a standard crate engine you can just buy and it's producing over a thousand how much does it cost like 35 grand like you could buy yourself your own charger for that probably yeah uh, cuz um what is it <laughs> there was a cuz recently I think it was a couple weeks ago we were talking about this Chevy has released the Corvette engine as a, as a crate motor, and I thought, man, what if I could put that into my truck? <laughs> 755 horsepower. And here's the thing, I can put it into my truck. It is a bolt-on part, oh, essentially. Grr. Because basically, right now, what my truck has is my truck has a tuned-down version of it. I have a 5.3 liter V8 in my pickup. So, at the moment, right now, essentially, what I have is I have a Corvette engine in there. Just a, a lower-horsepowered one. So. Oh, yeah, I never asked you about your truck. Is it just rear wheel or all wheel? I've got 4x4. Four four. I have 4x4. Four four. There, there were a few requirements for my for when I was shopping for it. I said it has to have 4x4. Four four. It also has to have at least a V6. And the V6 requirement was only for the Toyota Tacoma and the Colorado. Although the Colorado, I would also, I also wouldn't mind if I had gotten the, um, if I got the four-cylinder diesel because that had more horsepower. But when it came to full-size pickup trucks, a V6 was out of the question. I had to have at least a V8. So I have a 5.3 liter V8, which actually, when it's not using all eight cylinders, it does swap down to four cylinders. So, save gas, I guess. Okay. Sure. Yep. Something I was always confused about whenever I played Forza Motorsport 4. Mm-hmm. Is why Saline copied three different cars from Ford. The oh, super it's, cab is the F one. Oh, it's because they're a tuner company. They're they're also a tuner company like a uh, Hennessy. Well, before they went bump, which was a shame. Oh yeah, I actually found the perfect gift to someone if you hate them that much. No word of a lie. Okay, what is it? Dodge have made a motorcycle. Called, what? No, Dodge, uh, Dodge have made a motorcycle called the Tomahawk. Now, hear me out. It has four wheels, two at the back and two at the front, right? Because you know how, like, your Kawasaki's have, like, your, you know, like, your big engines and they're super powerful, yeah? Yep. I thought you said it was a motorcycle. Yeah, it is a motorcycle. It's just a bit, it looks a bit like the Tron bike. Anyway, this motorcycle has an 8.4 liter V10 from a Viper. <laughs> you know, how many yards are you going to get before that thing actually kills you? <laughs> Probably about four. Hold on, I got I gotta look this up. <laughs> Dodge Tomahawk. 12%. Okay, so it was a non-street legal concept vehicle introduced uh, by Dodge at the 2003 North American International Auto Show. It kind of looks like Batman's car. 
And it's actually, um, this is bizarre, but it's got two tires on the front instead of just one. There's Produced 500 horsepower from Dodge the V10 versus. SRT 10 inch and from the Dodge Viper. Oh my god. How much would you like to get that to someone who you hate? Uh, 100. Uh, no. There's much better ways to give somebody you hate a bad time. <laughs> like. What, like a black man? I disagree. In a bar? You give them a piece of candy with a thumbtack in it. That's much better. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, you, you cruel human. <laughs> you genius! Oh, where'd Swim Allen go? I do not know. All right, so uh, Lola Run, you gonna? Ho oh wait, you're playing Force Motorsport Four. I thought you were gonna come play Motorsport yeah, Seven oh. with us. Oh well. He he doesn't want to play with us. All right, Metal Gauge. I guess it's just you and me this time. Two laps around the okay. Mon. I think we have to hit oh, 192. I'm interested. Too he late, man. Lamont. Too late. We're going to Le Mans and you it's too late. Why is my full driving line on? Like it just turned on for some reason. Did you turn it on in the settings? I maybe I'm did. Sure, sure, but Oh my god, why have I never driven this Mazda before? It's insane! Yeah, that's why I picked it. You know, this is the only problem with Le Mans. It's an amazing race track in an amazing country. It's just I can't stand the French. Oui, oui, mes amis. Easy. Is this the Mulsane circuit or the full circuit? It's Mulsane. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I just saw the stupidest thing. Uh, but I think oh, I'm in trouble though. Race. Why? You have to go 192 miles an hour. I'm hitting 177. <laughs> I'm on BuzzFeed. I'm 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 sad. Give it toilet mug. I'm sorry. I had to leave. You left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Crafting with cat hair. Wait, what? What car Crafting are you using? With what? With cat hair. <laughs> Do I even want to know what you are looking at? I'm actually looking at BuzzFeed right now. I'm scared. That's not even a bad thing. They say it's a bad thing, but it's actually pretty cool. It's a revolver Did shaped it? egg mold. Smart it depends egg where, tray. It depends where you live and also if your landlord's paranoid. Because if your landlord has been robbed before at gunpoint, you know, they're gonna freak out. Because uh, they did that about um, a year ago with the iPhone case that looked like a... Oh, give a germaphobe or someone with an accumulant house. Alright, I need to find something that's faster. It's soap, but it looks like a turd. This, this ought to be faster. Well, that's gonna freak some people out. Okay, so I have three options. One of them's kind of pathetic. 
All right, top speed is 194. This ought to work now. <laughs> I love how you just said, I have a bit of a problem. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because the fourth law challenge is we have to go 192, I think. Uh, it is. Where, where's it at? Hold on. Oh, no, we just had to go 174. I thought you had to go 192. And apparently it already completed, but oh, well, we're, we're, never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to hop back in my old car. Screw it. We're doing this again. <laughs> Wait, what's your old car? What's your old car? It was the 2014 oh, Mazda. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, we're, we're just... We'll have different cars then. We'll have different cars. Okay. I actually really like the Chevy pre-Nito. I was thinking that you had to hit 192, but no, it's a 174. Please tell me we're on the old circuit. Yeah. No, but James, if we're on uh, circuit to the start. Oh, I hate you. Great. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't, because it will also make it more interesting due to his uh, speed deficit. Because. On the first run, I had a top speed of about 191. He has a top speed of about 177. But my braking's worse. And I know that Mazda has amazing brakes. Hi, girl. Yeah, there's a Chevy on my uh, on my right just passing me by. Making my way downtown. I'm, I'm surprised none of you guys just called me a liar. Why? Because we just passed the first turn. Oh. <laughs> I, was, I was too busy looking backwards. I was like, oh yeah, there is a, supposed to be a turn there. Just... Alright, okay. My curve keeps just going. <laughs> and then like slowing down. I got a 1 out of 10 on the observational test. Yep, you failed. I can't write, but I can spell. No, no, oh. no. Oh, he spat out. <laughs> that is what you get for choosing a Chevrolet. Hey, at least it's not built like a Ford. Otherwise, he probably wouldn't even got to that corner. <laughs> Found on <laughs> <laughs> Fixer repair daily. Fixer repair daily. Fixer repair daily. Fucked on race day. Found. Found on road dead. Mind you, uh, Ford are recalling all the 2017 GTs, aren't they? Okay, are they? GMC make trucks. Do, yeah, yeah so GMC they, makes they, trucks. Why doesn't GMC make cars? Yeah. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, the cyclone. I only just noticed the other day the cyclone's gone from uh, Horizon Four. Yeah, it wasn't in Motorsport Seven either. Okay. My observational skills are taking a massive hit today. But I might as well just take my ego out of my head and put it in a blender. I say that as I go into the sand pit. You can stay because there. How are you not it's breaking head. on these corners? Because, because this car is amazing. Whose headlights are those? Stop 
drafting me. Unlimited drafting. See, this car is so much better at the corners than the rest of yours. Look at that braking. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> All right, actually, let, let's stop and let it. Let, let's. Who spun you out? I was going to say, let's stop, let him catch up. And then Lola Run just T boned me. Right, Lola Run, let's stop. Lola Run, slow down. No, keep going, keep going. This is how it, this is how it would have been anyway. Metal Gauge, I did hit you though. I hit you pretty bad. <laughs> oh yeah, I know because my camera did the sudden whiplash thing. <laughs> they see me whip. They see me nay nay. Watch me whip, whip. Watch me nay nay. Oh god, that's my uh, that's my victory emote. Oh god, it's not. <laughs> Either way, I just gotta wait for Lolo to crash at the end of this court, at the end of this straight, like he's going to do. Yes. I think I learned. You learned nothing. Because <laughs> Lolo, if you don't crash, I'm just gonna crash into you. No, don't be mean like that. If he, if he can somehow survive. I did. I took the corner at only 40 miles an hour, so I guess that's why. I took it at like 70. I mean. You know all I'm thinking as I'm racing here? What? I miss my sheep, I miss my sheep horn from FM4. You Sorry, miss your FH4. sheep horn? I miss... Yeah, you know, the little... Bah! You mean from FH4, not FM4? Yeah, yeah, from FH4. FM4. Oh god, I hit the sand. And the tires, I, I'm crashed. I ruined it. I'm probably done. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm done. I am pushing this Mazda to breaking point and I can't catch Lolo. What did you hit? Many, many tire walls. Okay. Let's see if I can even finish. Maybe. Uh, probably not. You're not gonna be able to cover a mile in half a minute. Actually, no. It's possible. I mean, yeah. You, I, I've covered because, a mile in twenty seconds. Oh, I was right there. I was right there too. Oh man, if I would have had like three more seconds, I could have made it. <laughs> I could have made it. Almost. If it weren't for that crash, I would have had it. I would have had you all. You all oh would have been God, dead. You were right there. Are you sure? This uh, Chevy Daytona is pretty quick. We can race I again. What it's I I, in fact, we actually are going to race yeah. again. But we're not going to use that car. <laughs> We are going to go to Bernie's Alps in Elite Factory Racers. Elite yes. Factory? I don't even know what My those are. I don't either. Unicorn car. 
Oh, Which like, one? Uh, you know, the, uh, the Mercedes CLK GTR. Um, the oh, Porsche yeah, those, those. 996. Those cars. Those cars, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can use the F40 Compensione, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it, at least. Let's see here. What do I got? Compensione. I have got a Ferrari F50 GT. And the F40 Compensione. You know what? I'm going to use this because nobody else will have this. What? What do you think no one else will have, girl? The Lamborghini Diablo GTR. Because technically, they haven't been gifted yeah. out yet. It's extremely rare to get. How did you get it? Level up reward on the first day it came out. Oh, you got Horizon for the day came out. Oh, my game just took a massive turd. I'll be back in 30 seconds. Yeah, we can wait for you. We can wait for you. So, alrighty. I have this very amazing image as my um, home screen. As well, I'm going to check our conversation, see if anybody's asked for an invite. No more invite asks. So, let's see here. So if anybody watching right now wants to be invited into the game, just go ahead and send me a message on Xbox Live. I'll go ahead and send you an invite. But right now we've got our Diablo GTR ready to go. I've got a breadstick. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about that. <laughs> yeah, uh, you have a do, I ha do I have to worry? Do I have to worry where you pulled that breadstick from? No, <laughs> no. Um. Okay, so let me tell you guys the story last night. Uh, while well, we're waiting for Metal Games to get back in here. So last night, I ordered pizza from Pizza. My local pizza doesn't deliver, but I, I decided I was going to order pizza, so I went, and go, went to go pick it up. And I was running a little bit behind. You know, I, was, I maybe should have one minute later than what was the maximum time, like, you know, whatever it says. It says 10 to 20 minutes will be when it's ready. I left, got there, and it was 21 minutes, all right? So what I had ordered is I ordered a large pizza... Because they had like the $7.99 pizza deal. And then I got an order of breadsticks and an order of wings. And this was, you know, to last me the next couple days, right? You know, I, I, I've been eating on this last night. I ate on it today for breakfast and lunch. So I sit there. I pull up. I look out the window, you know, just waiting for them to come open the window. They see me. Don't open the window. Ten minutes later of me sitting there, I, they finally open up the window and say, Can I get your name? And I'm like, yeah, it's uh, and I, I give them my name. And they kept saying my name wrong, too. Like, my name was pronounced one way, and they kept saying it without the ending. So I, I don't know what was going on there. And <laughs> I don't know why, but my You're receipt so was in a crumpled name. up ball. They had to uncrumple my receipts and find out. They were running around with their heads cut off. There were people screaming in the restaurant. There were uh, pizza, like, the pizza cooking dishes were on the ground, scattered, and I, I, I had no idea what was going on. Something had gone down. Some serious shit had happened. They called in reinforcements. There were only two people there when I got there. Then all of a sudden, two more people had pulled into the parking lot, come inside, and it was the owner and the manager. Some shit had gone down. <laughs> That's all I can say. But Metal Gage is back in here now, so we just gotta wait for Lola Run to go ahead and ready up, and we'll be good to go. Oh, you should have told me already. You're so close to saying your name. Why didn't you just say it? What? How saying my name? To remain peaceful. Yes. Say my name. Say my name. I'm gonna win around you. Say, baby, you love you more than playing games. Oh my God, this thing is so slow. Hey, I just sort of bumped you. Alright, I didn't take you out. I just sort of bumped you. 
Oh, you didn't take me out. I think Lolo did. What? I'm driving an F40, or red F40 at that. Oh, right. Well, it ain't, it, who's in the 996? Swim, Alan. Oh, well, Alan took me out then. Try to not die. Come on, unicorn car. Oh no, oh no, I took this way too wide. Use that AMG power. Use those 645 ponies, F40, okay? I'm just trying to get in front of Lola Run. He's just all over the place. I can't find an opening. At least you can't say I'm the only one defending anymore. <laughs> oh my god! What the hell was that? What the hell was that about? I hit a wall and it slowed me down. This thing over or understeers is like a motherfucker. Like, I mean, this thing, it is n not very good at corners. See, you should see Lolo up here. Why do you want him to see me up here? Because you are weaving and taking every <laughs> wide line because you can't turn properly. Just please don't crash it, it's one of the prettiest cars ever made. <laughs> okay, I'll try. Come on, I just need to catch back up. This is actually quite an even little race. Anyone watching this stream, we apologize. It's just we're all concentrating like mad. Yeah, we cannot talk at all. Oh god. Oh no! I talk and I'm down! <laughs> I got slowed down to 25 freaking miles an hour because I hit a wall. Hey, Lola, hey Tyra, literally just stop. Hey Lola, can you just crash? <laughs> I know. Not use the brakes. Something! If Sweden Pro is here, I would be in second place. Very true. No, 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 I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't like that. Damn it, I thought you were gonna crash. I was so hopeful you were gonna can it. Oh. Yeah, that was not very good, man, that was not very good.
Uh, Carson says, I'm not a fan, so I'm leaving the stream. Good luck with college. Uh, I've been out of college for two years now. So, yeah. I can understand why he's not a fan. That was, uh, that was just a very tight race, man. That was just a very tight race. We were all sort of concentrating right there. Just trying to keep everything going. Alrighty, so Lola run one, I lost. Yeah, that kind of sucked. Not very good. Not very good at all. So... Didn't you say that Diablo handles like a beast? That the what? Didn't you say that that Diablo handled like a beast? It, it, it wants to understeer quite a bit. And if I go here into tuning, I can tell you exactly why. When I go over here to the differential, which surprisingly, it's a rear-wheel drive. This thing's rear-wheel drive? What? Oh my god, I thought this... It feels like it's all-wheel drive. It really, really does. I could probably... If I do this, it'll be a lot better. But it doesn't want to, like, really... I don't know. I kind of want to test this one more time. One more lap around here. Alright. So let's go ahead. I'm, I'm going to go in here. We're going to do one lap more. I just decided to go ahead and put everything into... Um, into cornering. So let's see here. Everybody just ready up again. Same cars. Or not. <laughs> oh, Carson says, so I'll sub. He said, I'm not a fan, so I'm leaving the stream. Good luck with college, so I'll sub. Okay, dude, thanks, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. Always can help. We're going to try one more lap, though. I put everything into cornering, and I want to see how how much different this is. So I'm going to go ahead and ready up. Alan. yoo -hoo! Earth to Allen. All right, whatever. We're just going <laughs> to. Three, two, one. There he goes. All right, let, let's see how this thing handles now that everything has been put into uh, cornering instead of speed. It does handle better. It could use. It still needs quite a bit of work, though. Thank you. Sorry for the little love tap. Oh, I don't mind a love tap when it's from you, dude. <laughs> a little love tap from me. Little kissy. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Still has quite a bit of understeer, though. For a car that's rear-wheel drive, and has everything put into cornering. Like, I mean, this thing, you cannot get it to spin. Oh, shit. I just realized part, partly why it's happening. Why? Well, I have stability control on. There we go. Thanks, Lolo. Did he spin you out? Didn't spin me out. He just sent me into the walls like a like a billi billiard ball. So yeah, yeah, that uh, that wasn't that great. That still wasn't that great. Um, not too pleased. Not too pleased. All right, but anyway, though, we're going to go ahead, and I think we got two races to do in, I think we got to do them in Modern Hot Hatches. I think we got two more races to do in Modern Hot Hatches, which is why I wanted to do them earlier, but didn't really work out that way. So, let's go ahead and do that. 
Where should we go for our first race, though? Any any suggestions? Otherwise, I'm just going to pick whatever the first thing comes to mind. So... The airfield. Airfield. All right. Airfield. All right. We're going to the airfield for our first hot hatch race. All righty. So race set up. Wait, which airfield? Are you talking Top Gear Test Track or are you talking the Test Track airfield? Oh, the Test Track. Test Track. Gotcha. Uh, Swim Allen said wait for me, please. Okay. Yeah, we'll wait for him. We'll wait for him. Uh, Tommy Roberts says hi, girl. Hi, doing. Tommy. How's it going? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. All right, Swim Allen's joining back in. Oh, if any um, of the people watching right now do want to get in here into the live stream, uh, just go ahead and send me a message on Xbox Live, and I'll send you an invite. Uh, right now, we have not got any more invite requests because Stinger, he, he requested He's already been in here. He decided he had to go. So we just got to wait for everybody to pick their car, and we should be good to go. So I've got my Honda Civic Type R. Swim Allen is choosing the Honda Civic Type R. Let's see here. Lola Run and Metal Gauge, what are they going to pick? Let's see. I'm going to see a Honda Civic Type R. Oh, wait. <laughs> Lolo Run just left. Lolo, you there? <laughs> or are you going to... Uh... <laughs> My game died. Do we need to wait for you to come back in? We need you to wait to come back in, or... Yeah, we'll uh... Let's try to follow the gate of the Lost or Turbo. All right, well, my game we'll, died. we'll wait for you to get back in. I'm, I'm going to send you another invite so you can get in get in here quicker. Also, can I ask, why is your profile picture a sickle and a hammer? <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, how do I explain this? <laughs> well... You've got to explain something to do with either communism or something else, so, uh, please, explain. So, Tommy Dank Guy has sent me shared content. Do I view this shared content right now? I don't know this guy. So, let's see here. He made a clip. Let, let's go ahead and watch this while we wait for, um, while we wait for Lola Run to get back in. So, oh my god, he's got, uh... 353 likes, 36 comments on this? Dude, my my dog. This is awesome. Let's see here. Oh, shit! Let's hope my game doesn't die again. Damn! That is awesome! That is awesome right there, man. I'm gonna give that a like. I'm gonna give that a like right there. That is pretty cool. Let's watch that again right here. Okay. That's not... Now, he did have to rewind in order to do this. But he got one barrel roll, two barrel rolls, and an ultimate air. But it didn't give you that second barrel roll, though. That sucks. That sucks quite a bit, man. That sucks. All right, but anyway, that though. That was an amazing. <laughs> I know, right? It's awesome. It is awesome. But let's go ahead and get this race started up. Uh, although, actually, really quickly. Let's go ahead and send him a invite to the party in the game. I was contemplating buying... If you want to get in here. If you don't want to get in here, just let me know down below, and uh, we'll go ahead and move on. But, yeah, let's see if you can get in here. Or, well, let's see if he's even playing Motorsport 7. Let's see if he's even playing Motorsport 7. He is playing... Uh, He's on the home screen, so I don't know. Grr. Yep. So... I was considering to buy the uh, Aston Martin Vulcan HE off the auction house, but then I went into a Forza Sean, Sean shop. I was like, you know what? I'll buy a super wheel spin. That one mm -hmm. super wheel spin, I get um, a Horizon Edition Vulcan. Damn, with nice. His XP horn. And I forgot what the other one is. All right, I think we're just gonna go ahead and start this got. race up. But yeah, dude, that was that was a nice little stunt right there. That that's pretty impressive. But let's get this race going. So you got a Horizon, or you got a Force Edition Aston Martin Vulcan. That's a pretty cool car. Yep. 
I'm trying to get every Horizon edition. I don't think I don't think I have them all yet either. They're not real expensive though. Most of them are not very expensive. I think the Lamborghini Aventador may be one of the more pricey ones. Yeah, see you, man. Yeah, I'm glad they did that. Ow, I didn't see the wall. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm spinning around like a fidget spinner. <laughs> I'm glad they uh, took down the price on uh, Horizon Editions. So you could buy like a bunch of Horizon Editions for the price of one Horizon Edition in Horizon 3. I'm Metal not really that happy that they've done that. Yeah, it, all, it, it actually prevents me from doing any credit giveaways in the future. I, that's one thing that I just think about. So I can't do any credit giveaways in Forza Horizon 4 because we use the uh, Forza Edition cars to uh, give money away. Because everybody could get their hands on them relatively cheaply and everybody could sell them for 5.5 million credits. But in Horizon 4, that's a different case. So... All right, but anyway, though, let's see if we can catch up to Lolo Run and Swim Allen. Three laps of this. We are we got two more laps left. Ooh, damn, got some air there. Was not anticipating that. Okay, I'm going to say this now. This golf art sucks. What the hell? A cone just did a Gangnam-style dance across my screen for no reason. <laughs> Ouch, I hit a tire wall. Oh, Tommy, Dank guy, Tommy Dank guy just joined the party. There he goes. Yep. Well, now you're in front of me because I just hit a tire wall. Oh, don't worry. You'll catch up to me soon. I can't turn in this. How is this little hatchback so heavy? It feels like I'm setting concrete. Oh no problem, man. No problem. That's a, that's a nice little stunt there. I appreciate I, I appreciate yeah, the share. I've, I've shared that with so many freaking people and so many clubs. That's why it's got four freaking thousand views. I don't know how I pulled that off. I was just in a random lobby. And, um, yeah, yeah sometimes the coolest stuff happens com completely on accident. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Metal Gauge, really? Come uh, on, man. Yeah. For for some reason, Don't my worry, Forza Motorsport 7. My Forza Motorsport 7 didn't uninstalled. And it's gonna take a long time to get it back, so mm. I'm probably just gonna play Horizon 4, so don't Oh yeah, yeah, no worries, worries, no worries. You can stay in the party though. Not a problem. Uh-huh. So, because I know there's a lot of people, they'll come, like, if, if I'm not in the game, can I not be in the party? Dude, no, stay in the party. It's always fun to have someone to talk to. New perspectives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was, uh, I don't know if you remember, but I was the guy that, um, when he made the highway money method video, I was the guy that said, brilliant, just brilliant. Oh, yes, yes. I do remember that comment. Yeah, man, I, I truly thought it was brilliant. I never saw anything like that. I was I was blown away. I'm surprised. No, literally, I did not see any other YouTuber post that before you did, so. I I think uh, I was I the first one to oh, post it. you the founder? I think so. I think technically I I'm... Think I think I was technically the first person to post it. I may not have been the first person with the idea, though. Because I know Don Juan Song also posted a video on it, which was wildly more successful than my video, but that's beside the point. Uh, but yeah, it was it, it's yeah. not a bad money-making method, and it's completely legitimate. Too bad, though, Forza took my race yeah. down. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah, because that first day I had it up, I made 923,000 credits from people using my race. Yeah, I saw. And yeah. then... um. And since then, I've only been making like 10,000, 30,000, you know, not not a whole lot. Like enough that, you know, it's it's still worth it. But then, you know, Forza took it off the leaderboards. So, 
Don Juan Song also had one up there, and his was his got about to the same point as mine did, and then Forza took it down. So, kind of sucked. Anyway, though, we gotta go to another race. Well, let's let's see where we're going. I'm gonna say, uh, let's go to Maple Valley. Yeah, we haven't been to Maple Valley today yet, so we'll go here. Yeah, uh, mostly all day. I've actually been on my other account, and uh, I've been doing the Holiday Rod race by um, Edinburgh. And I've kind of well, I've been doing that race because I'm trying to get to level 20 on the road racing series, mm -hmm. and uh, I've kind of been comparing it to the highway race. So basically, um, I've done that three times, and the second time I did it, I did it in 50 minutes. So basically, that's just 10 minutes faster than the highway race. You obviously don't get as much money. It, um, I'm pretty sure the highway race got you get like a hundred thousand, no, five hundred thousand more credits. For doing that but it takes like 10 minutes off if you do the holly rod so mm. the holly rod i without a doubt is faster but not by much for sure gotcha gotcha um uh, metal gauge did your game take a crap as well yeah my game took a crap as well all right i'll send you an invite <laughs> did you no one really plays motorsport 7 anymore it seems like i mean thank you very much I'll probably you're welcome play that um more when Motorsport 8 is coming around because I I mean I did play Horizon 3 a lot when Horizon 4 was coming around but I I was going for achievements on Horizon 3 mostly yeah you know, yeah just to, just to do the achievement mm -hmm. yeah. Motorsport 7 has kind of died uh it, it, it really died within the first month a lot of people were not impressed with how mm -hmm. it was uh the loot box system oh, the um there was bugs galore, and a lot of people were really upset with it, and a lot of people ended up leaving the game. Uh, but Force has improved on it. They've improved on it. The game's a lot better than it was at the start. But, uh, yeah, I still under I understand why a lot of people left. Uh, Sebastian Bower says, hey, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what's up, Sebastian? What's up? Girl. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> you should check out this channel called Trent Hamilton. Tread Hamilton? Trent Hamilton. Trent. Trent Hamilton. Yes. Why? Yes. Because. Is that you? No. <laughs> if you watch one of the videos, you'll be able to tell it's not me. It's a... This guy has a heavy accent. But it's all about instruments. Oh, how'd you know? Because <laughs> I just Googled it. Oh, wait, you looked. <laughs> I, I did used to play trombone, though, when I was in uh, when I was in high school. So there's that. I'm actually going to be learning how to play two more instruments this year. Mm. Tenor, saxophone, and uh, trumpet. All right, oh, so grr. Lola Run and Swim, we just need you guys to ready up so we can get this race going. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, oh. Okay. Uh, is it okay if I kind of make the stream an eating stream? So I'm eating lunch right now. <laughs> as long as the eating noises aren't, like, really out there. Oh, oh god, no, Cortana, go away! Mm -hmm. Go away, Cortana, stop, no! I said <laughs> out there, and Cortana <laughs> popped up. The golf. That's exactly what happens to me all the time. Cortana just shows up randomly. When you're talking about Halo. When you're talking about Halo. Like, here's the thing. Even if I, like, say Cortana, she won't pop Cortana. up. But then it's, like, random times no, she'll just no, pop stop, up. Stop. <laughs> oh, my God. What just happened? Stop. Good now, good now. Jeez, I hate corn. Oh, yes. Come on. I'm going to catch you. Oh! Someone just died. Oh, that hurt me just as much oh, yeah. as it hurts you, Metal. That <laughs> Yep. Say. 
Hey, Cortana, and then say, "Fuck off." I'm not going to say that right now. I'm in the middle of the race, and if Cortana pops up, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> oh, that was an overtake and a half! He just crashed into a tire wall. Could you guys wait for me because Cortana just murdered me? No. <laughs> no, we're gone. You were already on your second lap, weren't you? Just about. No. Now no, I am. Oh no! Oh no! Thank oh. you! Every time something <laughs> happens on the stream, I just hear the party yell. Like something bad happened. That, that's because that's what happens! Oh, like, uh, Hey Cortana pops up? Yeah, it's. Hey Cortana. It's funny, though. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Get defensive, get defensive. Oh my god, you're still behind. Yes, I messed up and I you're still behind, man. Cortana just put me in pit lane. Nope. Ow, 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 ow. Hey Cortana put me in pit lane. Go away. See, I did exactly what you were doing. Nope. Denied. I may as well just wait at the start line. Nope. Wide, come on! Oh, come on! Come on! Woo! Made it past there! Oh my gosh, I was really worried that that was not going to work out. You should put no ghost. We're, well, oh, because you wanted to do that. Yes. Right. You cheeky bugger. My bad, I hold my hand up. I'm still not even on the track yet. I just got back on the track. So now I've got a lot of catching up to do. Gotta have a perfect lap. Well don't, well, don't worry, I'm being hounded by, I think it's the, no, it's the Honda Civic. What the hell is going on? I don't know, it kind of sounded like somebody's dog was in the room. Like some bells. Oh, and, and now it sounds like a water bottle. Ding, ding. Where are you on the track? <clears throat> We're on top of the, I just got on top of the hill. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I know karma strikes, but karma cannot strike that quickly. I'm calling bullcrap on that. <laughs> I didn't tell him to do it. I did not tell him to do it. <laughs>
I am not telekinetic. Uh, Sebastian oh, asks why Civics, because we got to do two races in modern hot hatches, and the Honda Civic's the best one. So, that I, I I'm still claiming that's a W for me. That's a W. Wait, who started that whole crash? That was Lola Run. Lola. <laughs> well, uh, rip. I'm still claiming the W on that because I I should have had the W. I I almost got I almost caught up to you guys. <laughs> Even after my big crash at the start. So that's still a W for me. I'm still claiming that. But our next challenge though is we have got to. Cort Cortana really screwed me over on that race. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? It only counted one yes. of our races for the modern hot hatch car. Oh, because you got to uh, win two races. Up. You have to win two races. God damn it. So we got to do one more. And I got to sit at the um, at starting line without ghosts. No, I don't want Homestead. I wanted Hockenheim. This is what I want. Yes. I thought you just had to complete two races. I guess you gotta uh, win two races. So. But our next challenge after this, even though we've been streaming for two hours and 15 minutes, this has been a long one, uh, is we got to complete a race where you go at least 150 miles an hour in an open wheel Legends Division car and complete three laps at the Nürburgring GP. So. Complete three rap laps at the Nurburgring full circuit. No! That'd be, <laughs> that'd be an absolute pain. Yep. Yes, it would. Although, I do want to see what else do we have for next week. Because maybe we can dip into one of next week's ones. Uh, no. No, we can't. We cannot do so. But uh, next week, though. Oh, my God. I didn't realize that's an award next week. Oh, damn. Uh, apparently FXXK. next week we can win the 2016 Ferrari FXXK. Yeah. You should already have that. You should already have that from w one of those races that give you a car in the campaign. You should already have it. Hmm. Well, that just means free credits then. I guess you're right. But next week, though, there's only two challenges that are listed here. Unless we've already accidentally... Yeah, it only lists two challenges for next week. Alright, but everybody ready up. Get get your cars ready. Let's go. Uh, Sebastian says, I love Hawk and I. Me too, man. Me too. Uh, we're just waiting on Lola run. Uh, I think it said the full circuit. What? Double check the Falls of Thon. I think it. I think it said on the Fall of Falls of Thon, Hockenheim full circuit. Uh, we're not going to Hockenheim full circuit. We're we're just doing a race in a modern hot hatch. All oh, right. Okay. Lola, run. You ready? Come on, man. You have 15 seconds before we go ahead and leave you. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. He wasn't talking either. He's not talking either, which is weird. So anyway, though, let's go. Let's see what we can do here. Honda Civic versus Honda Civic versus Honda Civic. Bye, 
Okay, what's going on? I don't know. I Let, think, let's I keep quiet to listen to this a little bit. Okay. Lola, run, mute your mic! We know your room stinks! <laughs> 12,000 people now know that Lola Run's room stinks! <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna say I have ruined this Honda Civic. Have you? What'd you do to it? Yes. Well, I lightened it and added the front canards, and now it has zero acceleration somehow. Hey, you're still keeping up with me for the most part, though. Ooh. Yeah, through the corners, it's much better, but you just pull on the straight. Oh, is Lola run back? No, it sounds like he's cleaning now. Like I'm hearing some stacking. Oh, oh God, where'd you go? I, I just I just saw you disappear. <laughs> I had a bit of a turning problem. I was turning my wheel all the way to the right and the car said, nope. I'm just going to continue straight forward. So I will say though, just in case anybody here is watching and is having issues with the room smelling bad, Ask your parents for a wax warmer for okay. Christmas and get chocolate cookie scents. <laughs> Welcome back, Lil Run. It sounded like somebody whipped you. What what was going on there? What? I heard ow and then somebody said, Your room stinks. <laughs> <laughs> So we were sitting here joking like, uh, you know, hey, let's be quiet. Let's li let's listen to what's about ready to go down here. <laughs> and uh, I, I just screamed, Lola, run, mute your mic. 12,000 people now know your room stinks. <laughs> and I was just telling people, you know, I was just telling people, you know, hey, if you're having issues with people saying that your room stinks, ask your parents for a wax warmer for Christmas. And as for like a chocolate cookie scent or something like that, because it's just going to make you hungry. It's going to make your room smell like chocolate cookies, and it's going to be awesome. Okay, good idea. I have there a wax have warmer a wax. in every room of my house with a chocolate cookie scent, and it is amazing. Could you uh, <laughs> donate me a, 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 a wax warmer? I remember when I was younger, I was actually not that smart, so... I dipped my finger in the wax on top of a wax warmer. <laughs> oh, I bet you when it was have never on. done that again. I bet you've never done that again. Nope. But I did put a ping pong ball in it. <laughs> yeah, I will say I'm guilty of playing with candle wax. That's one thing I, I do quite often. It, it's fun. It's fun to play with candle wax. Do you get someone to pour it on you whilst you pay them two hundred dollars? No, no, no. We don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> no, but like you know, I made my own candles one day. That was pretty fun. Um. So relaxing to do. 
Yeah. Now, the trip where I made those candles is not very relaxing. In fact, I know a couple people who have actual PTSD from that trip. Um, there's even a whole Reddit page about it. Curious. Yeah. Curious. What trip was so, in sixth grade in Ohio, there is a camp that you are that many students go to called Camp Joy. And I was telling my coworkers about this the other day, and one of them does not believe me. But essentially, what they would do is they had a survival under on the Underground Railroad reenactment. So you had to basically pretend that you were a slave. And what they would do is they would blindfold you, line you up, and they would walk you into a field they'd been spraying down with water, put you on your hands and knees and force you to lie down, and they would auction you off as if you were a slave. And then they would make you go around and pick cotton for about... 30 minutes and after and it was it was fake cotton they were you had to pretend like you were picking cotton you'd get in trouble they would call you the n-word and then you had to run away and survive on the underground railroad for three hours that actually kind of sounds fun uh they would chase I you with dogs uh you had if if you got caught you had to pretend that you were a singing choir group and you had to sing swing low sweet chariot so we had to memorize this song beforehand, and um, we had, we did get caught, and they were going to turn us over to the authorities. They shoved us underneath a house, and we had to escape from underneath this house and run away. And they would they they had they actually had shotguns with them, but they were loaded with blanks, and they would fire these to scare you. It was like a little horror scenario, and it honestly was like, holy crap, this got intense, and people actually got PTSD from this experience. There's a whole Reddit page about it. Where was this camp? Gu Guantanamo Bay? It was, in, uh, it was in the middle of the woods in Ohio somewhere. You can even look up the whole page, and they tell you all about the experience. And uh, Apparently, there's another one in New York called Nature Center that I, when I was looking this up the other day. Uh, there's one in New York called Nature Center. It, it, it's very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Sebastian Palmer says, I'm still waiting for his naked run at 1 million subs. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> chocolate cookie scent, what the hell? Yeah, dude, it's a chocolate cookie scent. It smells like baked chocolate cookies. It is awesome. So our next challenge, though, we need to go and do open wheeled races. And we have to hit at least 150 miles an hour. So what I'm thinking... Because I hate open wheeled races. We're going to go to Daytona. And we're going to do open wheel legends. We're going to do five laps of Daytona and open wheel legends. So let's see here. Can our open wheel legends car actually get up to 150? That is the main question though. So I've got this Brabham BT24. Why can you set it as a Formula 90s? It has to be Open Wheel Legends. No, no, no. Open Wheel Legends uh, is the... the so, Sebastian says, that is a mad fucking story. How are they allowed to do that? I don't know. <laughs> My school stopped actually is going. Is still open to this day? It is. It is. Holy crap! Let's all try to be in different cars. And what it is, is that they, uh... So let's see here. The stock version of this car goes 205. I think we'll be safe. I think we'll be safe. Uh, but let's go ahead and find ourselves a tune for it. For education purposes. We got LMR Harmonic. Let, let's go ahead and, uh, we'll, we'll download his. But yeah, they are still open to this day. They even have options of different things you can do. So you don't have to do the Underground Railroad. Let me go ahead and, uh... Let me go ahead and pull this open really quickly. So they have what they call the Living History Programs. Now, they might have turned it down a little bit, but I remember when I was there, like, I mean, you know, you're, you're forced to lay down in wet grass at night, and you have to run around while people are chasing you with dogs and uh, shotguns and all kinds of things. But now they have, uh, they have Survival on the Underground Railroad, and apparently... Uh, it's been labeled as a freedom station with the NURFC, which, what is this? What is the NURFC? 
National Underground Railroad Freedom Center. What the uh, hell? I am just sat. I am just sat here, mouth a dog. Uh, then you have another one a where it's dog. called Trail of the Century, uh, which is. Um, foul weather may force us inside during the survival on the Underground Railroad, and this is an indoor version. Uh, starts with the auction and progress interactions with the same characters. Uh, students will portray slaves, uh, but all as one group instead of multiple groups. And then you have to witness a trial scene of a Quaker who was caught, caught harboring slaves. And then they have now... They've added the Trail of Cheers Cherokee removal. <laughs> like, just the things that oh they made. <laughs> yeah. It's just, oh my god. It's it's crazy. This is all real. This is all real. You can look it up. It's called Camp Joy Living History Programs. <laughs> Sebastian Palmer says, I call that child abuse. <laughs> I'll I'll say I didn't I, I didn't really it. mind Holy. I didn't really mind the experience because I was a pretty sheltered child at the time so I didn't really understand what was going on and I was just trying to be a hard ass the whole time like oh yeah I can take I can take whatever they throw at me yeah I'm awesome yeah I, I was like one of those kids and but like you know when they put us underneath the building one girl cried because they would give you bandanas so you could have the bandana up. And that would mean that you were participating in the event. But if you brought your bandana down, it meant that you were too scared and you were free to leave. And just be a witness. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was intense. Did you put your bandana up? Let me guess, you put your bandana up, girl. My band, well, no, bandana up meant that you were participating the whole time. So my bandana was up the whole time. I never brought it down. Could you please launch? Yes, I will be launching this here shortly. But I'm, I'm looking this up right now. Camp Joy Controversy. Um, just to see if there was anything here. Why is it controversial? Uh, there was another one about... Uh, apparently, they used to have one about the human side of policing. Uh... Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just, uh, it, it was controversial. I know the one in Nature Center, there was actually a story all about it. Oh, wait, we gotta wait for Lola Run to actually choose his car. The one in Nature Center, there was actually a news story about it that, you know, it was like, innocent camp, uh, activity or child abuse sort of deal. Because, I mean, you know, they, they, they did take it a little bit far at times, but, you know, it, it wasn't terrible, it wasn't terrible. It was a little intense, though. I'm back. Welcome back. Thanks, man. I, I was just watching the YouTube video and eating lunch. <sighs> I literally crashed right at the start of that race. So <laughs> I'm probably going to lose. What, what have I missed so far? Just you. Oh, you racing. just missed the greatest freaking story I've ever told. About when I was in childhood. And we had to pretend that we were uh, slaves on the Underground Railroad. Oh, that sounds fun. You survived it! <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose either. How fast do you have to go? 150. Go? 150. Yeah, 150. We're, we're good. Oh, I can... <laughs> What's your top speed? I'm going 204. Oh, I'm going 186. I'm redlining. My gears are not very good. See, that's why I hit I'm you. I'm going 150. I'm going 150. Just, you're barely just hitting the target. Well, 
Well, it's because I crashed into the oh. 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 You know what? I hate this car class. And then they went and brought this to Forza Horizon 4. Did they? Yes. Why do you hate this car class so much? And they're so hard to control. And I think they brought this to Forza Horizon 4 because you can get like the, uh, oh, I think it's like the Mercedes W202A, uh, the Auto Union Type D. All right, welcome back again. Chris joined. I, I don't know why, but... Hey, everybody can join. The more, the merrier. <laughs> are you going to are you gonna stay there, Lola Run? That's the question. <laughs> I just narrowly missed him. All right, welcome back again. I didn't. I didn't miss him. Oh wait I, a minute! I did not miss him. I think he, I think he just <laughs> took someone out. <laughs> I was just taking. I just saw that on stream. I thought you did some freaking glitch or something. What are you talking about? Me hitting Lola Run or? I mean, he, okay, so he's not here for my final lap. Where is he? Where is this bastard? <laughs> <laughs> Fourth lap. <laughs> yeah, I just finished. What's up, Tommy? Uh, Phil Phillips 33 just joined the party. I see that, yeah. He, he said, hey, Tommy, so... All right, so wow, Metal Gage, you weren't far behind me. You weren't that far behind. The only thing that killed me was those gears. If mm. I stretched the gear ratio, I would have kept up. Uh, John Kwiatkowski? I, I can't pronounce your name, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He said, how did you get that driver gear? I got this for watching the Forza RC uh, championship. So that's how I got this one. And Sebastian says, I'll be back in 20 minutes. Uh, unfortunately, the stream's probably going to be over in 20 minutes. Because we only got one more race left. Uh, grr. Yep. Then let's, let's make it 40 laps. Uh, the Nurburgring full. No, because no. we got to do two laps of the GP. Uh, so, do you want to do some races on Horizon 4 for big money on the Hollyrod race, Gur? Um. Yes. I would do that. Probably not right after this. I'm probably going to be hopping on Forza Horizon 4. But uh, I won't be on completely because I do got some videos to make. Uh, so. Oh, yeah. No problem. Lee S. Durr says, hey, is there any money glitch working today? It's not really a glitch. It's just a money-making method, and that's the highway one. You just make a race that goes up and down the highway. You can make it a lap. Uh, I did make a video on that, so you can actually use it. Uh, so. Holy Rover. What's your Holy YouTube name? My YouTube name is the same as my channel name. So, all right, but anyway, though, let's so see. Our, our next, our next one though yeah, is we got to do. Is it two laps or is it three laps at the GP circuit? So it's three laps. We're gonna head there. Oh wait, what what cars? What cars do we have to use? Just three laps. All right. So what kind of cars should we use at the Nurburgring GP? A uh, bubble GT. Dank boy. Forza GT? Tom, Tom no, Dank sport boy. GT. Can, can sport GT. There? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. But, um, just so you know, I'm, last week, I'm, I'm grinding for the castles. Alright, Sport yeah, GT. This, there we go. If you do this all day, then it will definitely uh, get you to the castle. Which one? I can almost buy both of the castles. So, yeah, I've got um, 20 million just about. I've got a little bit more than 20 million, so I need to make another 5 million. I'll have both of them. 
So let's see here. Select car. What car to use though? Sport GT. It's ten million and ten million though, right? It's ten million and fifteen million. Oh, Edinburgh Castle's fifteen so million. Bamber is ten million. Jesus. I'm trying to All get right, uh, the noisy cartographer. I'm actually getting kind of close to that one. Explore every road. All right. Um. LOL run, I'll um, I'll start up the game. Just let me sign into Horizon 4 first. By the way, my mic's gonna die, but when you see the event, just join it. Uh, Phil, you wanna do the race again? How long is this race anyway? Like, yeah, uh, probably about 50 minutes, 45 minutes at most. Oh no! Oh. My force have, just crashed! I'm gonna have to eat dinner soon. Uh, you have to eat dinner soon. Yeah, no problem, man. We can do a shorter race. You won't just get as much money, though. Man, I can't believe my fours are just crashed. I'm sorry, Metal Gauge. This will probably be. I'm, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and do this on my own. Race. Race. Okay. Just to get it done a little quicker. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Oh, don't worry, my game just took a massive crap as well. Oh man, it didn't like us playing for so long. It doesn't want us to complete this week's Forzathon. No! I, I guess I have a question. Can do. Yep. I guess I can't I haven't do that done a of, I've only done one of it, and how do you make it to a circuit? You create your own route. Uh, just uh, cross the finish line again. Yeah, you just have to drive yeah, through the back of the finish it. line. Alright. Although, apparently, I saw a video of some guy. He actually drove through the back of his finish line, and it didn't make it a circuit. So, I don't know, I guess it doesn't always work, but right now we're going to go move here into free play. We're going to get this race set up. Nürburgring GP. Three oh. laps. Sport GT. Um, so. You can invite me to your game now. I can. Wait, are you guys doing the highway race? Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, can I join then? I'm about to do it. But... I'm gonna do the high race with you guys. The invite. That's weird. It just cost me two grand to homologate my own car. How does that work? Um, where did oh that's that's um, Tommy can I oh Tommy can I get an invite to do the highway race with you guys? Now, because I know I've already got this tune installed right here. So we shouldn't have to worry about this one too much. Tommy, invite me now. So let's go ahead and install this one really quickly, and we should be good to go. Uh, and hopefully when we leave, our race will be loaded, but it's not. It's not. It's almost there. Almost there. And I figure as well, let's go ahead and set the driver tour difficulty up to unbeatable. See if we can't pull off a win. Wait, invite me. Tommy, now, invite me quick, hate so these I can stone run. walls. Yeah, I hate. Can you guys wait one second? Because I want to join the race. But no one's sending me a game invite. I'm waiting for Tommy to send me a game invite. Do you ever just, like, start All right. flying in Forza Horizon 4 and then you hit a, br like, the walls? Yep. Like stone walls? <laughs> yep, I've done that before. And then you just have no speed? Mm -hmm. And you just like stop. All right, but let's get this race going. We've got our Lamborghini Huracan. Hopefully, this thing is able to pull off a win. Nurburgring GP unbeatable. Three laps. Let's go. Ooh, it's starting me up at the front. Not bad. Ooh, this Mercedes is pulling on me.
but we're able to go ahead and pull in front of it to get into our first place position. Hopefully that secures Isn't us our win Agera right there. R Isn't the Agera RS just like basically an, a version of the Koenigsegg 1 to 1? No, it's, an Agera, it's a version of Agera. Not a 1 to 1. They're completely but different they, cars. The, the they Agera. look extremely the similar. The Agera RS has the engine from the 1 to 1. However, with the added weight... It allows longer gear ratios, thus making it the fastest production car. Is somebody watching the live stream right now? Please, please turn the live stream off. If you're watching it. Oh, I'm listening to it, but uh, but my volume's off. Yeah, I know, but I was hearing it again right there. A little bit of a repeat yeah, of everything. I think it's a uh... Philip. Yeah. I'm actually kind of sad that I missed your live stream yesterday. Oh, no worries, uh, man. No worries. There's always next week. I I wanted to be in it. I wanted to be in it because I got four hundred and four last week. But, but hey, hey, there's always next I had week to though. Go out to I had to go out to my grandparents' house, which is about an hour and a half away. Hey, your grandparents are important, man. Sure. Trust me on that. Why, you don't, why does the animal play I know. Oh. You don't, uh, you don't think about it until they're gone, but, you know, you, you're going to miss them when they're gone. Hey, Gert, if you don't mind me asking, how is everything with that now re regarding you, grandfather? Oh... Things are all right. Um, you know, we never really got along very well. Like, we well, we never really talked too much. I would say. Uh, but his uh his funeral is supposed to be. I think it's. Oh shit! It's uh it's this Saturday. But uh, yeah, I know they waited forever to actually have any any kind of service for it. They waited over a month. But, uh, yeah, his funeral is supposed to be this Saturday. Oh! Pull me join. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah, the, it, it, it's still... It, it's a little bit of a sore subject. Well... I think I can say on behalf of everyone who has subscribed to you, um, even in this part, yeah. you know, if you're ever having a sore time, you know, just know we're always behind you. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you. But, uh, yeah, if they could have put it off one more week, I could have went, but uh, I'm not going to be able to make it. Tommy, I'm gonna make my own thing. Oh man, this Mercedes though. Oh my god, it just pulled in front of me. I uh, I made him one mistake, and you know that you can't really make any mistakes with unbeatable drivers in this game. The race, drag race thing. I love that Mercedes AMG GTR just because of the rear wheel steering. Why wouldn't let me do anything? Oh man, it's gonna take the inside line. Oh crap! I actually hit rewind. I didn't mean to hit that. Uh, uh oh. Come on, get a good car. Do you ever have sometimes like you you go to oh. shift gears down because you're braking, then you accidentally hit rewind? Yeah. Uh, no, because I use automatic. Boo! Oh, Boo! Yeah. Boo! <laughs> automatic nub. As is your your nub. Charge my headset a little bit. It's got a couple minutes on it. You got a wireless headset? Um, yes. Tommy. I'm gonna start the race. Tommy. I'm gonna restart my game. If it doesn't let me join, I'm restarting it. If it don't let me join, uh, I'll create okay. my own session and then I'll invite you. But you can, I'll give you leaders when you join. Okay. Do that drag race. What's up, Drag. Wonder? 
the highway. What's up, watermelon? Call oh, come on. Oh my goodness. <coughs> okay, we have Okay, we have a lot of people joining right now. Yeah, I'm what is going on? There's so many people, people joining into this party. I just invited like three people for the race and so many people just joined. No, I'm inviting my friends. Phil, I think this is a little too much, man. Uh, you, ZK, Watermelon, Colin, you probably got my message saying you need money. Uh, join up, and I'll tell you how it works. <laughs> I did join up. Okay. Alright, so I made another mistake that Mercedes AMG GTR has taken up in front of me. But let's go ahead and keep on moving forward. Let's see if we can pull off the victory. Our final race of the day. We're doing, uh... Last lap. Damn, what's it called? The, uh... Um, Is it good if I... Haldi Rod. No, let's do the highway okay, race. Okay, we're good. <coughs> I'll see if there's a highway uh, race, We don't have to do I don't like have a fast car. Laps. I don't have a fast We can do, like, ten laps. I don't have a fast car. I don't have a fast car. I do have Why don't you have the Agura or us? Man, there's more people in this party than the entirety of the live stream for the most part. What on earth is going on? Yep, by, uh, four people. Oh, there's eight people in this party? Unfortunately, we're only going to get a second place. We, we messed up. We messed up, guys. Not good. Oh. We have everyone. Second place, 212. I bet you that's the fastest lap time, though, is the 212. <laughs> Alright, uh... Are we doing racers now? Some everyone sport? in the lobby join up this race. No, it's not! That Mercedes actually had a 209. <laughs> we didn't actually do very good at all, lap-wise. We, lap-wise, we should have been down in, like, fourth, fifth place. Damn. Like, fifth or sixth place. That's, that's bad. That's bad. I was just traveling to my house. All right, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go ahead and mute this party so that we can go ahead and uh, so that we can go ahead and get everything going here. But uh, holy crap, guys, <laughs> we just got a bunch of people like all wanting to make some money in uh, Forza Horizon 4. But we haven't had that many people watching this entire live stream. But I think that's where we're going to go and wrap things up for today, although I did hit the wrong button. So we got to wait for it to go through all the loading screens. I, I, I meant to hit quit, but uh, I guess I guess it's all whatever. I guess it's all whatever. Because it's going to have to load in the next track, and it's going to make us sit here and wait the whole freaking time. Because there's no button to back out of here. Like, th that is so stupid. Why? Why on earth do they not have that as a feature? There is no option to go ahead and leave without closing the entire game. That's so stupid, Forza. That is, that is my one big complaint there. So, but anyway, though, guys, that's what we're going to go and wrap things up for today. If you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash girl 413 and instagram.com forward slash girl 413 And if you guys like this video, go and make sure to hit that like button down below for us because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe for more videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Bye. Sebastian, you're back at the last second.